Whenever we wake up in the morning, you might be one of those people that uh, remember your dreams. Some people have solid dreams that they've wanted to put together in their lives for many, many years. Uh, but at a point, some people decide to maybe downsize on their dreams. That's the conversation we're having today. We have the amazing Fola Daniels Adelisi here. He is CEO of Edible Pen, and he's uh, been a motivational speaker, trainer, author for so many years, and a big friend of the house. It's great to have you My in pleasure. the studio once again. Thank you. All right, so when it comes to our dreams, yeah. uh, Nigerians especially have huge, lofty dreams. Huge dreams. And we see these dreams as we drive uh, on an expressway and see yeah. a big, tall building with yeah. glass windows. That was someone's dream. Yeah. You know? Um, huge expanse of land exactly. owned by an individual. Yes, and you're like, yeah. does this guy have two heads? Does this woman have two heads? Probably not. Yeah. And I'm saying... So, yeah, so we're, we're talking about adjusting the dreams. Now, yeah. one of the things we have experienced at one time or the other is the discouragement about all the dreams that you have. You have a big dream, you yeah. believe that this thing is going to happen and maybe like a child you just know that one way or the other you will find a solution to make this work. But somewhere along the line you've spoken to one person, the second person, the third person and it's not happening. Then you start thinking about adjusting the dreams. Mm -hmm. And in some other cases, it could be economic realities. Maybe there's a meltdown or there, there's financial crisis. People are complaining. There's no money. And you suddenly come to a point where you believe that dream is not going to happen. You should not adjust your dream because of economic realities or financial crisis. Okay. What you can do is to start small. For example, I went to a school where we, had, we have, to date, a large expanse of land. And I kept asking myself, how did this man acquire the entire land? Then I found out it was one plot after the other, one plot after the other. Then he kept buying, he kept buying until he got to that level. And I see those people on the highway too. I realized that they just kept buying bit by bit by bit until they didn't just wake up and bought maybe like 50 hectares okay. in one day. Nobody did that. They just kept buying a little, a little. The same thing for your company. You want to run a business the size of Google, you want to run a business the size of Amazon, yeah. you don't start overnight. Start from where you are. Look at some of those big guys at Silicon Valley today. Some of them started at the basement of their homes, okay. but they stayed consistent. Okay. That was the key word, consistent. So if you start small and stay consistent, the big thing you've been thinking about, you can eventually get there. But, you know, people want to start big, make it big, you know, have something, the grand deal of starting immediately yeah. and being at that level from day one. That's what people are looking at. And that's why some people think, oh, if it's not working like this, then it's not going to work. Okay, so there is a place for, um, there is a space for being realistic. Yes. Right? Uh, we understand the climate we live in. We understand that there are just some uh, maybe plots of land, yeah. some spaces that are maybe saturated. Yeah. Uh, and it's not easy to break in to, yeah. to those. So when you say adjusting your goals, yeah. could it mean instead of taking left, you take a complete right and change your whole target in, in, in the first place? So that's yeah. where what I, uh, well, not me, but what is called the Blue Ocean Strategy. That's where that comes in. If you've read that book, I think that you would understand what I'm talking about. But if you have not, let me quickly suggest that you read it. Okay. So the Blue Ocean Strategy suggests that if everybody says this is the way, yeah. why don't you look in another direction? Okay. The fact that everybody is used to this way yeah. does not mean that's the only way. Okay. You can just go in a completely different direction. Most times, the end result is the most important thing. It's not the strategy to the end result, but we are sometimes more fixated on the strategy than on the end result. If you have one strategy to get to the end result, there could be a million and one other strategies. So. Just bear in mind that a tree does not just appear and grows from the top. No, a tree starts from the roots. Okay. It first of all go, grows down, then starts growing out. And what that tells you is that there are times when you're not going to be able to do this thing the way you want. Take a look at those who do business pitches on television or those who do maybe like business competitions and stuff like that. One of the first things the investors will ask you is what's your track record? Okay. We want to see what you have done. 
What's your financial book like? Yeah. How have you been performing? How disciplined have you been? So that would then tell us how much more we can commit into your hands. In fact, even the good book says, look, he who is faithful in little, much more will be committed unto his hands. So the point really is, start from wherever you are, yeah. stay consistent, do it right okay. at a small face. Once you do it right at a small face, then growing and doing it bigger will become easier. Then opportunities will also show up. So most people just want to do it big. Yeah. They without want, a track they want record. That big, they want that big money from to the come beginning. In, from the beginning. Without a track record. But if you start small and you have a proven track record, it then becomes easier to convince people to put their resources into what you do, to commit more. In fact, sometimes all you need to do is just to do something to build credibility. Once you've, you've done it. That you've done it. Yeah. And once you have built credibility, People don't have problem committing funds or resources into your hands. Uh, but, you know, that is also a two-sided coin. Yeah. So if you do start small yeah. and you do what you know how yeah. to do, and yeah. for some reason you don't do it too well or yeah. you fail at it, yeah. let's even just say you yeah. failed at it. Yeah. Um, I feel like uh, investors are looking out for what you've learned after you've, you know, made the, had those setbacks and yeah. then you, you keep going. So, here, so here's the thing. Some investors are interested in not whether you failed or not. Okay. They're interested in if you picked the lessons from the failure. Okay. For example, there are some people who will be willing to trust you again because you've done it before yeah. and you know why it failed. Okay. So if they ask you questions and they ask you questions like, what do you think you got wrong the first time? Or why do you think you failed? And you answer excellently well and say, this is what I got wrong, this is what I got wrong. Yeah. If I'm to do it again, this is what I'll be doing different. They may not tell you we're going to give you money. Sure. They just want to know if you know what you're doing. So the moment you convince them and you show them what went wrong, why it went wrong, and how you can correct it, I'm, I'm telling you, some people are willing to commit more yeah. into your hands. But it's not just about investors. Yeah. Generally in life, if it's with your family, yeah. with your real estate, with your career. For example, you're dreaming to work for an international organization. Start small from somewhere. International organizations don't just come and pick people. They want to see that you've done something somewhere before, and they want to see your skill. Then once you, have, you, you stay consistent, yeah. they can give you the international job. All right. So it's important. So that dream is valid. It's valid. It might seem huge and lofty right now, but it is a valid dream. No but start from how, somewhere. Yeah, you have to start from somewhere. Yeah. I have to say thank you to you, My pleasure. Uh, Mr. Fola Daniels, My pleasure. for coming to talk to us once again. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so do it afraid, but do it anyway uh, is one of the quotes from earlier this month I heard uh, from um, Balumi Nubi. Okay. Uh, she, she got on the road yeah. and drove all the way from, <laughs> from London to Lagos. Lagos. But the thing is, she had taken some smaller journeys first, and that dream sounded huge, but she eventually got it done.